Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. Dun 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 dun. Alright. In the last episode, we defeated the boss of Berglund Park to find out that he did not kidnap the princess, girl, whatever. But he knows who did. And we went to go after them and found a giant pencil statue blocking the way. Really? Pencil. So we came back only to find out that our lovely, fat, smelly inventor friend invented something that we just happened to need to kill the giant pencil. So now I'm going back there. Time to go beat up some stationery. So. Folks, I really have nothing to say right now. Because, now you see, I did not, I, I did not perish because the enemies killed me. I perished because a mushroom on my head made me crack my skull open with a baseball bat. Yes, I cracked open my own skull with a baseball bat. So, the mushroom status, and not only screwing up your controls with moving and such, also acts like confusion. Which, like in every game, is horrifically unfair to you. Because most enemies are immune to it, and it always screws you over so hard that, like, you might as well have asked it to buy you dinner. Anyway, we're back on the path toward... Silly Mushroom Man place. I've died three times in this thing. Once, because I wasn't paying attention to my life. Once, because I was retarded and didn't reveal my magic. And now, it's just the game's, like, messing with me. Be right back. Yeah, uh, again, realized I have no psychic power. God damn it. Okay, I'm going back inside before I get killed. Going back inside before I get killed. You know what the hell is it? I'm going on? Be right back. That part of the mechanic of death, having no psychic power, is perfectly plain. Okay, running away before I die. Give me a butterfly. Get ah, fine. Stupid plants. Hair right back. So in that battle, I gained level fourteen, and I thought, great. I will gain some psychic points to at least have something to heal myself with. No. No, I did not. Though I did actually not get gypped on the health gain this time with the cheap, you know, five. Come on, be a butterfly. Uh, I'll show you the pencil eraser. some weird reason, I was just was erased. And now we can move on. Yes, you still will need that item later. You can't just toss it. What the? F I was like, oh, there might be some treasure up here. Nope. Mm, fuzzy, fuzzy pickles. Kind of in a very happy mood right now. I thought, I used to think that, like, at the end of the game, there would be some type of reward for, you know, finding where he took all the pictures. Oh, Lord, I'm so dead. Alright, let's... Might as well give it a shot, why not? This is a new enemy, the Territorial Oak. 30 HP. Second. Ow. 35. Okay. 
tried brain track alpha. Please don't do anything. Didn't work. Thank you. Use the vacuum attack. Offensive down by two. Take up to one. Okay. Please die. Attacking. Still alive. Still a chance. Die. First, yeah. Guts saved me on that one. But you don't want to fight those trees, because quite frankly, that's their super BS final attack. It's just, I burst into flames. It's a tree, mind you, and you die. Give me a butterfly. Hell no. Oh, crap. Can I not walk off the screen far enough? Yes, if you walk off the screen, it will re-roll the random enemy gen- Fuck. It will re-roll the random enemy generator, and thus you can actually avoid an encounter. See? What the- Crap, run away. Totally just die and get this over with. Be like a Psy Caramel. Nope. Something I'll hold on to for a minute. Fucking! Duh. Well, let's see what this is. Maybe we... Yeah, we're... This is Spinning Robo. I'm not gonna be able to kill this. Yeah, give me a cold. Who cares? <laughs> the cold killed me! Oh my god, the cold killed me. That's so funny. God, I'm so frustrated right now. Why is this crap always happening to I me? Mean, somebody please remind me. Like, psychic imprint in my brain that if I die, I lose all my psychic points. Because it's, while it is the lamest conundrum in the world, it still happens. And it bothers the crap out of me every time. So... Draw. This had back up to more money than when I started, anyway. But I'm gonna use the inn, and I'll be right back. All right, we're good to go. Um, headline of the paper said, "Boy gets ass kicked by crap because he's an idiot." Uh, I should cut out meeting over there, but nope, I'm ranting. Oh, I won't because this is another new enemy. Well, not new. The new age retro hippie. Ha 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 ha, that's so funny. I think he's the strongest of the three enemies you can face here. The, the, the old man, the cranky lady, and this. Still nothing to worry about. Kind of glad you got to see that. Because I totally... If, if I miss an enemy... Like, I'm not going back for it. I'm not going to try to display every enemy. I should run into most of them just, you know, by... Sheer doing... You know, playing the game. Do I still have that charm? Yeah, I do. You want to try to save some equipment for, you know, your other party members, because other than Jeff, who actually has his own little solo adventure, and, well, actually, then, yeah, just save equipment for Amanda, because she's the only one who joins you pretty much naked, and then expected to fight immediately. But, uh... 
Jeff has his own... Uh, you know what? I'm getting a reroll here to help you guys. Jeff has his own, like, mini little solo adventure. And uh, Pooh can't actually wear anything other than his crappy... Oh, be right back. As I was saying, the only thing Pooh can actually wear in this game is his something something of King's equipment. He only gets one weapon, and it's, <clears throat> you know, a sword. He only gets one armor set, and it's, you know, so it, it's good stuff, but it's ridiculously hard to obtain. They're all, like, 1 in 256 drops of certain enemies. You know, just a lame pile of crap. No, oh, thanks for another butterfly. Where were you guys before? Be right back. Okay, moving on. See if I can not fight you. <laughs> I used the tree. I Terrell Davis him. Alright, well, now that I'm okay, I should show you another fight with a spinning robo. I like how this, some enemies have, like, uh, unique, kind of weird music, like, nah, 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 nah. Anyway, he's, aside from being able to cause you to have a cold, he's nothing special. Cold is, like, not as disgustingly overpowered as confusion. Goddamn tree, go away. I don't want to fight a tree, because basically you have to, you almost always have to heal at the end of it, because... He just keeps... Because, like I said, at the end of everything, they burst into flames and... That's a good roll. We have Butterfly. Stop, stop running away. But hey, I beat the first tree, so I ain't got to show you another one. So I'm just going to avoid the rest of them, because they're gay. A luck capsule. Uh, I'm not sure if, if it actually is a permanent. But yeah. Um, can I use it now? Yep. And permanent capsules are your permanent stat increase medicine. Another butterfly. Where were these rolls before? Why was I? I need PP, and I'm running into enemy after enemy. Another present? You get a croissant. You had another treasure just hanging around. And it's a bomb. Bombs, as you figure, you throw them, they explode. Bad things happen. I apparently went around. See if I can demonstrate it. Because really, I, d I never use them. Well, a lot of the, you know, uh, damage items, I more or less just gloss over. Oh, no, 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 no. I will fight anything on the other side of the river except the tree. More trees everywhere. Trees everywhere. Yet another... All this way for another lousy present. It's a hard hat. Oh crap. I believe this is the next upgrade in like uh head equipment. Yep. That is a nice nine defense bonus. I will take that no matter where I can get it. If the trees did not have that, I blow up at the end and hurt you for a ton. I would, I'd fight them. Three hundred some odd experience. Yeah, I'd, I'd take that any day. But it just, it bothers me. I think there's a cave. Oh crap! I 
Run away! Oh, look, there's a cabin down there. Basically, what happened was, is... I took out the sprout, and I beat up the tree, and of course it blew up in my face. I gained level 15, and... got, you know, a nice offensive boost, but again, HP decided, I'm not gonna go up at all. Or I went up by one. Yay. One. Keep, ah, uh, I knew it. I keep rolling bad with all these trees floating around. I don't know what kind of programmer was like, hey, thank you. Let's put, uh, not hey, thank you, but hey, let's put all this enemy here that has this great final attack that pretty much can kill you. Like, I don't have 250 HP. That's the least I've seen it do. So, like, you know, I can't survive that under any circumstances. Run away. I made it through that. It's amazing. Couple life noodles. Oh, Lord. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, bomb, but I don't need you. Resurrection items are rare. So get them whenever you get a chance. The good thing is, is that I will quickly have another person's inventory to fill up in a minute. Or not a minute, but pretty soon. Fairly soon. I can deal with a UFO. And a Rumble. And I caught a cold because of that fight. And yes, I'm slowly getting hurt. Cold is the equivalent of the poison status. Wait, let me check something. Yeah, okay. I can heal it. Yes, the reason why these are running is because these are the basic snakes you fight, you fought in Onet. Yeah, I don't know why they put them in there. Wait, where the hell am I? Why is the music all weird? Happy, happy village. Uh, okay. There's a tutorial mole here. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, that's where they tell you that, despite the fact that you can actually have that happen to you in like the first 30 seconds. Keep down in the East Cave, people. Lily put steps. Uh, we trust you, feel free to shop here. You can buy a banana and an egg. This guy, he's he's watching, see who doesn't pay at the food stand. If you don't pay, freaking all pissed off at you. Who won't paint every? Uh, I, huh? What does like painting things blue have to do with peace? Uh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> house has no door. Alrighty, what's going on over here? Mister Car Painter receives a revelation. The real truth. I wonder what that is. Join the Happy Religious Group or a married couple from Tucson. Some happiness? A peaceful country? Yes, I understand. Yes, I want you to shut the hell up. Okay, I guess that's the guy in the blue robes they were talking about. If you walk near this person, she talks about, you know, collecting donations to protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. Yes. I will donate five whole dollars. Postcard. Okay, fine. Oh my god, that's a hippie. Gotta kill it. No, this is a regular guy. Ah, 
Yeah, I'm sure he does. <laughs> In Valley Behind Three? Ding ding? That was weird. There's a kid here in a Jason mask. Help me. Kidna- A mountain cat- <laughs> Yes, there are enemies here too. Insane cultist. Yeah, they, they try to paint you blue. <laughs> And for that, you get a whopping 350. Yeah, they are worth a lot. Unfortunately, there aren't that many of them, so it's hard to grind here. This is the inn, I guess. Happy Happy Ism, maybe exceptional that you stay for $50. Oh, that's right, money. Totally forgot, my bad. This is the, the meager living farm lodging available. There's a dude just walking around over here. Who wants a girl? You gonna be the high priestess of happy happyism? Really? Ah, this is the healer guy. Nope. And this is their hospital. <sighs> hey, what the? You know what? You're dead. Care right back. I totally just realized that in the lapse of time between the battles, I didn't actually say anything. Oh, yes, here's the store I was looking for. All our products are blessed. Blue, blue drugstore. It's a typical regular drugstore. It's amazing. <laughs> Refreshing herbs reads as follows. You catch a cold, if you're ill, or you can't seem to heal, you're poisoned, if you're depressed. Refreshing herb is a real deal. That's like your heal all medicine. Let's see what you got. First of all, I want to get rid of my Mr. Baseball cap. Now that I no longer. 99 bucks! Uh, do I need anything else I can get rid of? Can I sell the exit most? Yeah, let's see what they got for sale here. Yep. I want that. Uh, no, I, I think... You, no, I don't need that at all. If you'd miss the hard hat, you need this, the other hat. Offense goes from 35 to 42, and you can buy the T-ball bat, yes. Nope, I'm good. Anything else? Yeah, it's refreshing. There's the, that refreshing herb she was talking about. Uh, I need $50 for the inn. Yeah, eight and a 70. Let's uh, call mom. Can hardly hear you. Yeah, I'm calling from the moon or something. Rock is a flea bath. <laughs> yeah, it's like that for my dogs. Everything I don't need. Yeah, I can I can ditch the. Yeah, that's car crap. It's gonna put me down below <laughs> fifty. Yeah, you can pick more stuff up.
just get another uh, 20 bucks out for the delivery. Make our way down to the lovely inn with the cow. And he just shows up. Yeah, they probably should tell you that over the phone. Wouldn't that be more... Yeah, you can have the egg in the mouth when eat it. Yeah, um... You need to hold on to that. And... Yeah, I'm pretty much... I'm pretty much out of... No need for... Healing items at this point. Okay, now that's taken care of. My inventory space is clear. Another call to this. Be right back. Okay. Uh, yeah, vast improvement on the damage output from the Sandlot Bat. I'm loving it. Alright. And I want to heal up. I thought there would have been a there would have been a hey it's Amanda you're close dream there but I guess not let's see if I can make it there without any more cultists trying to murder my face yeah I made it there's a cave Cultist. Cultist! Bear it back. Level 16, and I finally got the big HP boost I was looking for. 29. I also got a, uh, an awesome 3-point boost to my guts and offense. What? What's going on? Who? Yes, that is Amanda. Yep, I'm coming. <laughs> I can't open the door. Oh, I have to get the key from Car Painter. It's kind of hidden away. No lightning. Where's the Franklin badge? <laughs> okay. Yes, I'm going to come back here. What the hell? Yes, because I'm coming after you. I'm not calling you anything. I'm calling you kicked in the face. Ugh, you're not going to fight me because you're a piss-poor, excusable person. Yeah, actual mandatory encounter. A spiteful crow that you... And then two cultists. Who like to call for help? Yeah, thank, yeah, good luck doing more than one beginning of the en game enemy. Oh, thank God. It gets real annoying, because like, you get to where it's like, you're facing insane cultists like F or G. And then you're like, okay, this is this has gone on far enough. Just hit it. Please, thank you. thousand experience and you get a cookie because there was a crow in the battle you cannot catch pokey do not even try I was to eat the cookie
going back through the tunnel on my way to Carp Painter. Oh crap. Oh, trapped him behind the tree. And we enter the big building that I skipped before for a reason. They notice all the people here are standing back and forth. The guys are, that you need to get through are the ones moving their feet faster. Like this guy talks about. You keep closing your door, your mother's calling you. You. I keep. I keep the car by the bed. What? In the closet? No, yes. Alright, I apologize for that. I should cut that out, but I really don't care. I don't think anyone else does either. It's going to add, what, 20 seconds? Yeah, just... Or I'm the torpedo full speed ahead or something like that. Yeah, he fights you. What am I saying? 592? I might be able to get that here. There's a couple... A couple guys that fight you. Middle of prayer. I like this guy. Lagoon blue blue. Yeah, that did nothing. Blue blue, what are you saying? I'm okay, capable of walking in place. No, I'll show you. You'll see. Green, green. Oops. Oh, he's new. Anyway, you get it here. You get a present of a skip sandwich. I think you, you can fight this guy. Anti blue boy. How do you even know? I didn't say anything. That was another uh, mindless encounter with this normal cultist. It's kind of funny that he called for help during that battle. And nobody came. There's an entire room full of them. I had a whistle and smile. Yeah, well, that's what her mom said. Strange, unmasked, don't go to heaven. <laughs> Yay. Level 17, absolutely no stat gains, and 3 HP, 1 PP bonus. Lame. Well, we are now through the room of cultists. And this is, like, I guess, Carpenter's secretary. He screamed. I didn't know what else to do. <laughs> then we go upstairs see Carpenter. And look what is behind him. That eerie gold statue from the beginning. Who would have thunk it? Well, what do you have to say? How make the world blue and change it into a happy... No, I'm not going to be your right-hand man. <laughs> Defy me and I'll end your pitiful... Okay. He tried to zap us with lightning. If you don't have that and you come in here, he kills you with that attack. The crashing boom bang attack. Frank Labad reflected it. <laughs> that was a good... Yeah. Wow, that was a horrid boss fight. I couldn't even show you what he does. I'm pretty sure he just does normal attacks. And... Lightning. That's it. Yep, the Mighty Mighty statue. Peculiar things like turning the entire world blue. 
Yep, open the jail where man is being held, take the key and go. And I got the key to the cabin. Yeah. Well, we did that. But next time, I'm going to be the hero and go rescue Manda, and then we're going to go take a look at these step things that people keep talking about. Because, yeah, that's kind of the things we do. So that's all for this time on Let's Play Earthbound. I will see you next time when we rescue the... Well, it's not, it's not really the princess, but we rescue the chick and do all that other fun stuff. So take care, people.